I have so many questions about charts and no one to help me. If only there was a place I could go to learn which doesn't cost a fortune. There is such a place. It's my Patreon. It's £7.50 a month and you get two live streams a week. Ask me anything you like about any chart that you want. What about trading platforms? Well, in the video description, I've got a link for all the best ones and you can get up to 20% off all your trading fees for life. Thanks, CryptoClick. You demand, bro. Hello everybody, welcome back. So I'm not going to show you a picture of me in the corner today because I look rough. I have a feeling that me and the kids have got the old, uh, the old virus. You know, the 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 one from, yeah, the the, the famous one that dare we speak of its name. So I, I won't show you my tired and emaciated face today. You can just listen to my withering voice instead. So um, let's have a look at basically. Uh, we'll start with uh, we'll start with traditional markets, right? So just bear with me. This is going to be a, a, a relatively informative video. I, I, I strongly suggest you listen to the whole thing. Um, and it's not good. It's not bad either. Um, it's just uh, it's just something for you to really dwell on um, because it involves an all-encompassing view on the market and as we are in Friday right now Friday is likely to get a sell-off people bagging up the profits that they've taken after the CPI bounce uh, which has been very nice for all of us okay and we're, again we've uh, we've dealt with that appropriately now going back to the moments or the days before the CPI bounce let's think about the analysis presented to us on the charts the ones that we were following and expecting which is what I think we should focus on now so we crushed the bounce that's fine that's fine that's no problem let's get back to reality what's really going on so first of all we'll start with oil oil destination $100 and maybe higher so long as it doesn't go above 105 which is a Bollinger Band center and uh, then uh, then yeah we finally we'll probably find our way back down to these levels and maybe down to 75 either way I am not bothered I would uh, yeah I suppose I am bothered it's bittersweet isn't it really I don't want to pay more at the petrol station but I am long on oil because I've told everybody uh, and I'm pretty adamant that we were moving back up to 100 so if we do break 100 so be it uh, it's not a surprise it's it was pretty much written you know it was written in the winds you know it was going back to 100 right i'd said it and with all of that comes downward pressure on equities downward pressure on traditional markets when it comes to um indexes and stocks and obviously crypto through association not only is it just a rotation i would say from uh, stocks back into energy which is what happened before we were talking about the everything bounce it's a rotation from energy stocks into indexes and stocks i call it the everything bounce it has certainly been the everything bounce this is the obvious place for it to be rejected from as the rotation goes back the other way tide goes in tide goes out that's basically what's happening here and 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 uh, yeah not only are we matching the um the, the 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 bounce area from oil which is give or take 85 dollars a barrel we are seeing a very clear and obvious area for rejection on the nasdaq right it doesn't mean that this breaks down and goes down to hell from here it just means that this is where a rotation is going to take place and all eyes would be on oil and generally all other commodities as well if oil goes up other commodities would probably go up as well but the focus would be on oil because it impacts everyone and everything so that's what we were expecting before the cpi um, we were expecting downward pressure before the CPI. It was only on the day of the CPI where I said the charts are probably giving us, you know, a bit of a false, uh, a false setup of, of, of uh, bearish looking charts, basically, of downward pressure, because I'm pretty sure the CPI is going to come out in a favourable way. And, uh, and we'll get a bounce. So we got, we're got we getting all of that. So now we're coming back to reality. What do we see? Rejection on the NASDAQ. Probably pulling back to, what, uh, 12,700 or so, 12,800. It's no big deal. It's just a, just a pullback so far. It's not a breakdown. It's a pullback. The, the weekly chart looks reasonable. Um, but we are at the top of the descending triangle. Um, let's have a think about Dixie. Dixie is also at support level. Um, so if we do bounce from here, like we have done in the past, then yeah, downwards pressure on 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 the markets. Yeah, a stronger dollar equals a, uh, I suppose, weaker indexes, stocks, and crypto. 
through association. The next thing we have to think about is the dominance chart. So I've been talking about you know this for probably the best part of a year. You don't want to be in um, altcoins. There's no real reason to be in them. It has to be approached 40% dominance. Unless, of course, you're in a hoddle bag and you're staking the hell out of something and you're not prepared to sell, and that's fine. That, Like I said, we spoke about that yesterday being a perfectly good strategy as well. Uh, if you're holding something that eventually you know does something very special you know sometimes trading is obsolete in comparison to the uh, the hodl bags that you that, that you've taken on but it doesn't stop it from being a deadly area for altcoins where sats will be taken away by bitcoin it, well, it, this is in the face of bitcoin bouncing um or breaking down it does it does make you want to think you know what am i looking to hold the most of at this level uh, and it would almost certainly be bitcoin right so yeah th there is yeah there's always going to be a, the exception but a good analogy is that your altcoin anthill will not survive the stomping of the steel toe cap boot of the bitcoin dominance as it bounces from 40 percent and we are very close to it right now we might as well be at it it's 40 0.9%. So fair enough. Fair enough. It is what it is. Bullish divergence brewing on it as well. It is a bearish chart, let's face it, but bearish chart versus historical um, um, uh, support of significance is likely to end with a big bounce. And again, you know, th this is no big deal as well because we called the top on the Bitcoin dominance chart as well. We've done hundreds of percents uh, on altcoins over this short period of time over this last couple of months it has been an incredible few months that's why i'm looking at a pile of shit <laughs> i'm looking at a pile of shit uh, um, uh, um, uh, weed stock there that's not even weed it's all it's synthetic weed so yeah <laughs> never mind never mind so that is that and that is that and that is that so let's have a think about bitcoin itself so bitcoin had a nice little break yesterday from this top range you know we did this over here before didn't we the range being 23,800 this is where we have always struggled to maintain above we were talking about this yesterday look if we stay above here then excellent and look did we stay above here according to the charts we we have and we still are but it doesn't look pretty that's what you would call a shooting star candle formation basically all the sellers coming in and buyers basically cannot get a break and we are holding on the support and i'm not saying that this is you know the worst thing you've ever seen in the world we are on the support but you know sell pressure to the max on on here as well Technically, this uh, RSI remains within the formation itself. This uh, this um, symmetrical triangle formation getting towards m pretty much the end of the actual apex here. So we closed back with inside it again. So this basically means that whichever way it really wants to go from here, it's probably going to be a big break breakdown and then probably a bounce or a breakout and then a big dump. That's the most likely scenario. Doesn't mean that it has to happen, but the closer you get to the end of an apex the more useless the formation is and uh, we're thinking about what this formation is actually showing us it is bearish divergence basically on the daily so we can get rid of this formation now really we don't really need it we can see the bearish divergence on it it is what it is so let's just move it down to a lower term time frame to see if there's anything on this which is in any way encouraging and there's not really um, outside of the fact that we are still holding on the support again 23,800 the momentum is leaving the chart here bearish divergence four hourly uh, fresh almost almost a, a bearish cross here <coughs> on the four hourly macd not a good look so yeah we could break down from here and i'll be looking for us to get picked up around twenty two thousand nine hundred to lose about a thousand dollars on here that's fine it is what it is back inside this range so long as we can hold this 200 exponential i'll be okay with it but uh, i would be surprised to see it hold at this stage look i am uh, i am not like bearish on the long term uh, or any of this stuff and i'm just presenting to you the most obvious situation and setup on the chart there are there are good things about all the charts in the short term but i think that the uh, the short term picture for at least today will match that of um uh, nasdaq which is one of rejection matches that of oil which is one of support and uh, one of dixie which is looking for a bounce so you put all these together especially on a friday where people want to take their profit as they should be doing because this is a technically one giant big 
downtrend, you want to be selling the rips, which is what I've always encouraged, especially in this everything bounce. I've, I've, I've highlighted the fact that it is simply just a bounce and you should be getting out of uh, your positions if you're still in them. I got out of mine last week uh, for the most part and uh, all of it, all of my stocks have been gone as we approach this level. Um, I did a little bit of um, futures trading on stocks <coughs> with this CPI report, but I'm not buying and holding stocks at this this point. I'll be more interested in buying and holding them if we can, if we form an uptrend, for instance. But uh, for the moment, we haven't. This is a bounce. It's not an uptrend. It's a bounce. Look, closing above here and, and and meandering outside of this this descending trend. Yeah, outside of the uh, outside of the triangle would be good, but it's not. So, long story short, Friday likely to have a sell-off. Weekend probably going to be nondescript for crypto. Couldn't really tell you exactly where crypto is going to be going over this weekend, um, as the whole thing has been driven by CPI, and now that seems to be fading, um, and that's perfectly normal, to be honest with you. Um, the the overall, um, I suppose, nature of the trading environment, economy-wise, is still quite favourable, I would say. Uh, but that that remains to be seen um, uh, on the charts. So just because we've got you know uh, a Fed which is likely to be less aggressive now, and inflation which appears to be coming down, which is good, uh, I still think the 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 charts at this point now, as we're coming back to reality and the euphoria from the CPI is is starting to wane, then. Um, then yeah, I think I think we can tra trade these charts appropriately, and the obvious, most obvious situation is what I've presented: down from the rege from resistance on here, bounce for oil, crypto follows in the on the coattails of uh, Nasdaq. So Friday is probably going to be a little bearish, I would imagine, um, but it wouldn't take much for it to break out and go bullish. Again, you know, breaking th from resistances is good. We are still holding at support, but overall, I think. <clears throat> I think today we go down a little bit and see where we go. So taking profit is great. Uh, sitting on the sidelines is great. And we'll wait for the next setup to present itself. And altcoins, like I say, altcoins, high risk. High risk state of play as dominance is uh, more or less at 40. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.